everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing some of the base concepts that I that I was going through during the playing of this game here. Uh, this video is the base that we made in Alpha 12.5, and this is just demonstrating uh, why it was successful in helping us avert the hordes, and it worked for the most part. And here's just a little clip showing inside the base there, and some of the weapons and whatnot that we had. Um, this video in particular is the Day 100 Horde, and I don't, I don't really know what happened. Uh, the game glitched out, so the hordes weren't uh, in the right places, so to speak. So here I was just checking out the top of the base to see the cops, and Sito was at the top of the base. Uh, the next floor up from that one that I just showed there. Now this was recorded in Alpha 12.5 so obviously I have to do a voiceover for this. And <laughs> this just shows you even at the bedrock Mo, otherwise known as the Lord Walker and me shooting a pole, <laughs> we, they all survived the fall. That was like a hundred blocks that they fell down and yet they still survived. Now they all used to die from that kind of a fall but I don't know um, TFP decided that that was too easy quote unquote so they nerfed fall damage. Now mind you nice little surprise and then, oh yeah I ran out the door because I heard the the cop exploding. So I was gonna try and kill him. <laughs> but he ended up killing me. But, uh, so yeah, TFP decided that they didn't want you to be in easy mode if you mined all the way to the bedrock and uh, allowed all of these other zombies to survive. Which I get, but at the same time, I kind of don't get. It's still, it's not too difficult. I mean, once you mine down far enough, it only takes a couple of shotgun blasts, as you can see there. And, uh, yeah, sometimes the... the door blocks didn't want to go away very much. We had so much ammunition at that time. We found a lot of resources just mining out underneath. There's a nice fall of a dog. <laughs> uh, Good old memories of this place. I wish it still worked. Mind you, I haven't even checked it out yet. I haven't even attempted to try this world out. I bet my game would just die. <laughs> but, yeah. So yeah, even, even with gore blocks and whatnot, it's far enough down. I probably could have had a little ledge about four blocks up, which is what I'm going to be doing in my newest concept base. That's going to be showing up soon. And uh, yeah, you know. Also, I did the day one recording already for the survival playthrough, and I was just wondering what everyone's opinion was. Should I do full day recordings? That's going to be about 60 minutes long. That's what the first video is going to be. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think about that. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do, you know, I know not everybody can spend an hour of their time watching these videos here, and that's why I, I split this one up into three parts, and honestly, I found it hard to motivate myself to speak over this video, I really, really don't like doing voiceovers, but I wanted to show the base concepts from the beginning, like how, how we got to where we are now. We being me and Sita, of course, but uh, she's not really playing as much as she used to. But yeah, so that's that. And a lot of bodies. I couldn't close the door there. The base had a lot of problems. It worked for the most part. Oh, this is hilarious. I was waiting for them to come out. I'm like, what's going on? And they got stuck. They got stuck on each other, <laughs> trying to come through these gore blocks. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> nice little ragdoll physics there. 
But uh, I, I want to do some testing actually. I'm curious. Oh, and this is at the end of the day 100 board the next day. I set my mornings to 4 o'clock because 6 a.m. is just too hardcore. That's too much for me. Uh, the game's hard enough as it is, so I put it on 60 minutes. And, uh. And 18 hour days, I think it is. This is really just displaying how we defended the base. We got some dodging skills there. I'm not always successful in dodging those, those cop zombies there. They do a lot of damage. But the, uh, the concrete blocks actually hold up to it pretty well. So... I'm not sure... how I'm going to be doing the next base here. Um, I like this design as it's small enough to defend. I did a lot of testing on the newest concept base and it almost seems too big. And, but there is a lot of neat features about it. A lot of things that I'm actually quite excited to show you all. And uh, I, I, I hope it works out. So, but when I, when I start doing the survival playthrough there, I'm actually going to be trying to make that building. Uh, I'll start with one square and move my way out to four. So hopefully I can get that video out to you soon and show you all what I've been working on. Uh, it took quite a while. There's Sita there. She was getting attacked by a hornet. I thought, or a wasp, I mean. I thought she had it handled, but uh, it was taking her quite a while, so I went up to go help, but uh, then she finally got it. Uh, and one of the things that wasn't so great about this base was the open floor concept. I mean, it was pretty easy for things to hit you. There, I jumped on a dog and broke my leg. And that is why you do not make a, a sloped entrance there. Because when you jump out, it's very easy to break your leg. It's better to do a design like this on flat ground, I noticed. Uh, it helps you out a lot more. Saves you a lot of landscaping work as well. So... And the reason I saved the cops for last was because, in my opinion, they hold the best loot. Like, full guns and ammo and everything. Whereas the feral zombies are just kind of like the rare weapon parts and whatnot. So, they're helpful, they're helpful when you don't have those items. But once you get, like, chests and chests full of them, uh, it's not as helpful as the cops. So... I was just trying to save these guys for last. Mind you, I didn't dare. Almost got stuck in a hole. But, uh... So, yeah. That is that. And it took a very long time to get this far. I think it was day 81 where I actually got to the bedrock. And when you got weapons like this, coming out in the daytime and shooting this many zombies is no problem at all. I think by the end of this video I went through like 500 magnum rounds, 44 rounds as they're called. So, me and my terrible aim sometimes. Honestly, would have been better off with a shotgun some of those times. And actually, the shotgun uses less gunpowder than the magnum. It's just the magnum's a little bit more accurate, especially at longer distances. But it only goes up to about 40 meters or so. Here's my hillside that kept on getting holes in it from these hordes. That's why we come out here and deal with them. Otherwise, they just attack random things. Couldn't hit the broadside of a barn there. Hopefully that's not a copywritten <laughs> phrase. You'd be surprised what's copywritten out there. Like, the intro music to this game is copywritten. They have copyright ID tracking on the intro music to this game because they bought it from a third party. Well, they licensed it through a third party, I should say. 
So if you notice, none of my videos will ever contain my music again. Uh, they actually did do a copyright ID on one of the videos because I was showing some of my settings and I actually ended up deleting that video. That was a long time ago. But, yeah. So, hopefully this part here is interesting for you. I mean, this was quite a while ago and I would probably do a lot of things differently now. Like, I can't wait to actually start making that concept base. I miss survival so much. And that's when the three screamers showed up. They used to call the hordes. Oh, and this is one part where I finally am able to aim right. One shot for a wasp. And thank you for watching the video. Make sure to hit that like button there. I'll be posting videos daily for everyone.